In this modern era, where most people spend a lot of time on their gadgets and devices to connect freely and easily with people, they are experiencing very physical and mental issues, and their attention spans are declining considerably. So, such people need digital detoxification, where they need to stay away from gadgets and devices for a few days to return to everyday life. The possibility of doing remote work has enhanced considerably in the last five years because, due to the coronavirus pandemic, many people who were apprehensive about remote work even adopted this style and realized it is highly comfortable. Moreover, their productivity is also enhanced. So due to that, there's a substantial surge in the number of people who prefer to work remotely. Social media addiction is leading to disastrous repercussions. People have started following others' lifestyles unthinkingly. Unfortunately, due to this, there is a paradigm shift in their personalities, and their tendency to talk to themselves and listen to their inner voice has declined a lot. So this scenario is wreaking havoc on their physical as well as mental health. It is the bounden duty of the parents and the teachers to reduce the students' screen time. Spending too many hours on gadgets and devices could lead the students toward the wrong trajectory. Moreover, the new sources of entertainment are highly contagious. So, the bad habits of one person could quickly transfer to another. If this trend continues, it will lead to a devastating aftermath. Hence, the higher authorities need to take strict actions. We should form a lethal combination of technology and nature for sustainable living. Thriving primarily on technology to solve the pressing problems is an imprudent approach because this way, we are ruining our nature. So, instead of solving our problems through technology, governments should take cognizance of the laws of nature so that the world can improve. There has been an urban sprawl in the last 10 years. The city facilities have been considerably enhanced with better entertainment, education, and healthcare options. Due to that, people from the hinterlands are shifting to the cities, leading to a burgeoning population and significant stress on the existing resources. Youngsters these days run after instant gratification, and their tendency to work for goals that produce results, in the long run, has declined to a great extent. The multinational companies are leaving no stone unturned to design those products that release dopamine in youngsters so that they get addicted to it. Companies are undoubtedly strengthening their bottom line with the technology. But ordinary people's lives are going for a toss. Due to different technological breakthroughs, the countries spending a lot on research and development have thriving economies and control the rest of the world. On the contrary, developing countries are growing poorer because they buy various products and services from developed countries and their tendency to do research and development is also declining.
Relying too heavily on food delivery services is imprudent because the various restaurants have to deal with a huge rush. So they offer those eatables that they can make easily without wasting much time. Such products are easy to make but devoid of nutrients. So the prospective eater doesn't get the proper nutrients. And their gut health goes for a toss. Various platforms are available for virtual learning. So the collaborations have increased considerably. Now, people in different corners of the world can come together and discuss their opinions. Moreover, you get a boatload of information if you have issues regarding any subject or topic on the internet. So, instead of one teacher, numerous people are ready to provide unabated support to handle your conflicts. Due to the tremendous growth of the internet, online shopping is gaining momentum. It is highly comfortable for individuals because there's fierce competition in this modern era. So people have less time. So, through online shopping, we can save a considerable amount of time. Moreover, it is incredibly comfortable because you can do transactions from the comfort of your home. Smart technology is ruling the world. Products like Roomba and ChatGPT are working as your assistants. So, you need not indulge in menial tasks. Your central focus should be on doing substantial things to make a significant impact. Fast-paced living takes a toll on your health because you indulge in a rat race where you leave no stone unturned to beat others to have an appealing lifestyle that you can flaunt in front of your near and dear ones to experience a high. The life of a digital nomad is pretty simple. The expenses are less because such people do not invest funds in buying or renting an office. Moreover, they work in a minimalistic way where they do not have many things with them. And they thrive primarily on a laptop and a few more devices to run the show. Their productivity is also extremely high. The government has given strict instructions to the multinational companies to follow the eco-friendly practices. Undoubtedly, the business generated by these companies strengthens the state's exchequer. Still, if such companies focus too much on strengthening their bottom line, it wreaks havoc on the environment around us. So, a balanced approach focusing on sustainable development and keeping the environment in good shape is the need of the hour. Although the internet has grown exponentially, a large section of society needs to learn more about its usage. Due to that, cyber security concerns are high. Various people work as scamsters and dupe innocent people by exploiting their limited knowledge of the cyber world. Such frauds are on the rise. And the government needs strict action. To maintain a work-life balance. One should treat one's work and family life separately. So once they are at work, 
they should leave their home issues away, and their central focus should be on their work. Moreover, when they return home from work, they should discuss their office life less to spend quality time with their family. Multitasking culture has been there for many years. However, research has proved that it is counterproductive because our brain is a beautiful asset if we let it focus on one task at a time. So, when we burden our brain with multiple tasks, its capacity to perform optimally declines, and we do not get the desired output. There are various streaming services, and television viewing has dramatically changed. Now, you have multiple OT platforms at your disposal, and at the click of a button, you have various channels playing where you can watch the content of your choice. So, the user experience has increased considerably, and people's tendency to watch movies in the cinema has also reduced. So, they prefer in home entertainment more than going out. Health tracking apps have become an important asset these days. A large section of society is becoming health conscious. They thrive primarily on these applications to accurately measure their health standards, which provide them with details regarding their heart rate and blood pressure. Moreover, they also keep track of your physical activity. And in case you do not follow a set pattern, these applications warn you. So, such assistance from these applications is worthwhile for leading a healthy life. 